Sometimes when you and your team are meeting virtually, you just want to be in, get the job done, get out of that meeting and minimize the time that you have online. But if you do that every time you have a team meeting, if every time you connect, it's, it's always just business, 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 you're going to miss out on developing the culture of your team. You're going to begin to feel disconnected as a group of people. And you don't have time together in the office, just that physical presence together to rebuild that connection. So in a virtual environment, you have to be more deliberate about creating opportunities for connection. One of the easiest ways to do it, some would say one of the cheesiest ways to do it, but hey, sometimes the cheesy stuff works, (laughs) is to have virtual icebreakers. Uh, This might just be a few minutes at the start of your meeting, that is used specifically for connection, or you might want to set up a meeting time every now and again, not every meeting, but maybe one in five meetings, one in 10 meetings with your team is designed specifically to get your team to connect. Well, if you do a Google search for virtual team icebreakers, you'll find hundreds of examples. Here are my three favorites. The first thing you can do is play a little game. You can use your Zoom virtual backgrounds to say, where am I? Or in my case, what's my favorite city? Or maybe where would I love to be? Yes, London. London is that space for me. Um, But use virtual backgrounds. One of the reasons uh, that this is such a good one is it gets people to switch their cameras on, to engage more with showing their face, with showing themselves. Um, and and using their virtual backgrounds to do that. Another way to do that, by the way, is to get everybody to take photographs. Uh, Where are you? What are you doing now? Upload those to a shared document. That can be turned into a bit of a guessing game, who uploaded which photograph, or just allow people to talk through the photographs of what they did over the weekend. So lots of ways to use uh, something visual. A second example would be to just get a bit of a mood barometer with your team. Here again, I like to do this in a way that is visual so that people actually have to put their cameras on and people see each other. We want to look each other in the eyes and see each other. So what we do is I I get people to to put their arms, or maybe actually this way, uh, put your, your arms like this. Now your top arm becomes your meter. Here's zero Here's five, there's 10 out of 10. What's your mood? Zero, horrible. 10, amazing. Now you just ask people with, with no explanation to put their arms without. Now you, you put yourself on gallery view and you get everybody to do this. Now you've suddenly got a visual representation. Talking about visual representations, you can also use a nice mosaic effect. Ask everybody to, to get a just a blank color, right? Um, You pop that color in front of your camera. I'm just using the back of a book and everybody just covers their camera with a color. If you've got a large team, this really works well. Then what you do is you say to you ask people a question, a yes, no question or, you know, one, two, three, four, five question. And if it's a yes, you keep the camera there. If it's a uh, you keep the color there. If it's a no, you take it away. And now suddenly you see a mosaic of other people's faces or blocks of color. Uh, This works really, really well for uh, larger meetings. Uh, A final thing that you can do is, again, this is trying to just get people onto camera, is you can do a similar sort of thing. So whatever question you ask, let's say you ask people, how are you feeling today? Um, Just draw draw something to indicate uh, how you are feeling. Oh, I'm I'm drawing somebody that's, uh, well, you know, I'm not an artist. There we go. What's that? A grimacy, smiley face. (laughs) Whatever. But you get people to draw something or, or to write a word, hold it up to the camera. This way, we're forcing people to connect, to see each other, get into gallery view, and to engage. As I say, do a Google search for virtual team meeting icebreakers. You'll find hundreds of examples. Some of them need a lot of setup. Some of them you can do in the moment. But whatever you do, you and your team need to be connecting and engaging more. 
there are a lot more tips like this in our course on how to run awesome team meetings and how to develop healthy hybrid teams. Uh, have a look in the description of this video uh, for the links on where to get more information about how to do that.